So I have to say this was one hell of a project. I love the way it came out. I love the way that it looks. The clear on there, the epoxy resin came out really nice. Did a lot of block sanding, get all these sharp lines. The back of the neck, I ended up uh, just masking off the black to make a point on it and sanded it all the way down to the mahogany and uh, then hit it with some clear and then sanded that down so you don't even feel a tape line where the black stripe is which came out really really nice so it's got like a matte finish on the back of the neck and it's going to be really smooth to play Grover tuners on here got most of the hardware put on it and here's the headstock now I still have to do a little bit more work on this uh, fretboard. I gotta clean out the grooves for the frets and install the new frets on there. But the inlays came out pretty good. I kind of like the way it looks. Uh, a little bit of a swirl with the white underneath the red. And here's the pinstriping, which everything is embedded under the epoxy. So none of this pinstriping is going to lift, peel off, or anything else. So you kind of see the sides where the block sanding was very important to do to have a nice flat finish. And I don't mean by the uh, texture of the paint, I mean just by what the clear or epoxy resin, keep on calling it paint, is sitting on. It's nice and flat. And that means a lot when it comes to you know the quality of a finish on a guitar. You don't want to have any wavy finishes or anything else. Neck pockets, no more cracks. The cracks are all gone. There is no sign of a crack. There is doesn't even look like anything ever happened to this thing where the neck broke. And it's on both sides. It looks really good. Nice polished uh, area as far as between the horn and the neck goes. And overall, I just love the way this thing looks. It came out really, really nice. I'm really happy. Uh, I'm proud to have done this for Wally in the Box. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to other projects in the future. So. The side of this thing, so I'm giving a little bit of a side view of it, starting at the headstock, working its way down the neck and into the body. When it gets up to the body, uh, the mahogany neck and whatever they use for the top, either some type of a flame maple veneer or whatever, uh, I love the way that looks with the stripe. 